Welcome, namaste. So today we're gonna work on our spine flexibility. It's really important to have a healthy spine. So make sure you're seated very comfortably. You can use props, blocks, or whatever to make you feel more comfortable. Take an inhale and exhale through the mouth. Let it all go. One more time, inhale and exhale. Okay, have your hands on your knees. We're gonna take just a few shoulder rolls. Inhale, roll your shoulder up by your ears and exhale behind you and lower down. Inhale, bring the shoulders up and exhale, roll the shoulders down. One more time, inhale up, back and exhale, lower down. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed, your spine is nice and lengthened. Inhale, raise your hand above your head and exhale, twist to the right side, bring your left hand on your right knee and right hand behind you to help support your back. With every inhale, lengthen your crown towards the sky and every exhale, twist a little deeper. Maybe your gaze come behind you to help bring a nice stretch in your neck. Parvrita Sukhasan. Side twist. This is a great posture to help massage your internal organ and also to stimulate your first four chakra. Stimulate your thymus gland. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, twist to the left side, right hand on your left knee and left hand behind you, support that spine. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and exhale, twist deeper. Maybe your gaze come behind you. Inhale, and exhale. Be aware of that spine that carries you. Really feel the connection of you and the earth. Feel supported, feel grounded. Inhale, come back to center, and exhale, lower down your right hand onto your right side, and bring your left hand above your head, shine your heart forward. Inhale, and exhale, Parasvasukasana, side bend. With every inhale, create space in your side body. And every exhale, release stagnant energy. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, lower down your left hand, right hand above your head. You can bring your knees up. Inhale, and exhale. Increase the spine flexibility with this beautiful asana. Inhale and exhale. It's a great posture to help balance the first three chakras. Inhale, come back to center and exhale, lower down your hands. I'm gonna do just a few shoulder rolls and some wrist rolls. <laughs> totally wanted to say wrist, but <laughs> let's do shoulder rolls too. <laughs> okay get all warmed up. We're gonna meet on all fours on your hand and knees. Make sure that your hands and your fingers are spread wide, very wide, and you're grounded through the mount of your fingers. You want your hands, your wrists under your shoulders and your knees under your hip. Straight spine. Inhale, drop the belly and bring your gaze up to the sky. And exhale, tuck your chin and curve your spine. Inhale, look up. To cat cow or jarya san. And exhale, tuck your chin, curve your spine. Inhale. And exhale. Move to a few at your own breath and your own pace. Another movement, absolutely wonderful for the spine flexibility. 
feel the energy from the ground supporting you, lifting you up. Inhale and exhale. This is a great posture also to stimulate your thalamus gland, your heart chakra. On your next inhale, let's all meet on a straight spine, back to center. You can start to walk your hands behind you towards your knees and you're gonna meet back into a seated position. I want to thank you for joining me in this short little video to help increase your spine flexibility. This is a small movement just to show you how easy and quick it can be to take care of your spine and take care of your body and also your mental health. Yoga is so amazing and has so many different benefits and I really hope that you enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel for more and we will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs> Make sure you drink a lot of water and stay hydrated. It's very important. Mm-hmm. <laughs>